Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the how to handle emergency situations involving pumps. Okay, if there is any malfunction in the pump which can cause the emergency situations, for example, shorts are down or the longs are down, then how to handle that situations that we are going to discuss in this video, right? So, first of all, that problem could be small, that problem could be moderate or severe, okay? So, please understand that in every situation, the safety should be your first priority, okay? If you will be safe, then only you can resolve that problem. Are you getting my point what I want to say, right? Then next, always try to analyze the problem's root cause, okay? For example, let's suppose if your pump's ampere is frequently increasing or decreasing okay pump motors ampere is frequently increasing or decreasing if your pump take the load and then left frequently right if there is so much vibration and noise within the pump then what could be the root cause okay how will you get to know about that root cause so first of all read about the pumps okay read about the pumps concept so how can you read about it there is a playlist in our youtube channel so please visit there and read about the pump concepts first of all then read the what if analysis which is like mainly every operation departments prepare one what if analysis then sop you can also read okay then you can also ask your seniors about the frequent problems which is occur in a pump okay so that you could aware about it are you getting my point then meanwhile if there is any problems occur so you can communicate with your seniors or the DCS operators about the problem if for example if there is any problem right for example let's suppose if there is so much vibration within the pump then simply you should tell your seniors or your reporting shift in charge or manager that this problem is occurring you should also tell that problem to DCS operator right and if you know the problem okay and if there is SOP is prepared for that problem or whatever the task you have to do if there is a SOP prepared so follow that SOP first of all read that SOP okay if you know how to do according to that SOP so follow that SOP right if you don't know please do not do and fifth and most important if situation is out of your hand or if you do not know how to tackle with that situation then please inform your reporting manager reporting senior and ask them what to do how to do and if there is any person who is all like already aware about it if he could help you that will be much better right and in the last always keep calm in this situation okay because in a plant you are handling like there could be hazardous gas there could be high pressure zone okay if you do any mistake because you don't know about it okay you are the hazard for the plant so if you don't know about that problem okay so please do not experiment there first of all learn about it okay and tell your senior or the your shift in charge that i am not aware about it so he will send someone who is already know about it so you could learn from there are you getting my point what i want to say so always keep calm in that situation in a plant and try to contribute only if you know how to do it otherwise it could cause a big problem that i have already seen so many times when the freshers or those persons who already do not know like how to operate the high pressure pump okay if you don't know how to start or like change over of the reciprocating pump you are handling that same as a centrifugal pump so obviously there could be some problems occur right and that problem could be huge okay mechanically some like parts could be damaged so please aware about it right so that was the sixth step which i personally follow in a plant or i i already tell the juniors okay always whenever they come into the plant what are the other safety measures we should any junior or any newcomer can take please let me in the comments box i will definitely read your comments and i'll give the reply back so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning Thank you.